Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're continuing this sequence of puzzles we've been doing this week with very short rule sets. Um, a lot of you seem to be really enjoying these short rule set puzzles, as indeed have I. And this one is called Arvada, which makes me think of Avada Kedavra, but I don't think it is that. I think Avada might be a town in Colorado. I had to look that up. Um, but this is by Philip Bloomer, also going under the pseudonym of Glum Hippo, of course, in the Sudoku world. Um, and it is indeed a very short rule set. It's not a rule set I've ever seen before, although the rules refer to this as having beachcomber rules. Is beachcomber a thing in Sudoku? I never knew that. Um, but this is this has been well it's got some great plaudits um i think a 99 percent approval rating on logic masters germany let me show you some of the comments i just found when i popped in over there wisty uh, who i think it must be wisteria fool who made that amazing beautiful sudoku that i tried the other day um describes this as what a beautiful rule oh, sorry bizarre rule set and solve path oh a bizarre solve path that sounds worrying but uh, this was so much fun thank you for sharing um mixo beautiful puzzle very original logic um doom doom diat i never can say that right doomed no it's i think it's meant to be pronounced doom jot actually this is truly a work of art my friend um it was full of wonderful moments it really made me feel smarter than i am having solved it <laughs> anyway so it's obviously um a very good puzzle and I hope I will be able to do it some justice uh, in a moment or two's time. I will read you the rules. Um, what do I need to tell you about for that? Oh, yes, I've got two, two big announcements in terms of the winners of our last two Patreon reward competitions. So starting with the Skunk Works competition, which was the 100 Snack Dokus. Drum roll, please. I think we had, I think we had over a thousand correct entries for this one. And the winner is... Kelvin Graham. Well done, Kelvin. We will be in touch about your prize uh, momentarily. Um, and we also picked the winner for the All the Fun of the Fair Sudoku Hunt, which was our January reward. So the closing date for that was just a few days ago. And the winner of that one is Phoebe. Now, Phoebe, that's how you wanted to be known uh, on the Roll of Honor, which, which Mark is preparing. So um, I don't think I'm meant to give any more details than that, but hopefully the Phoebe in question will know that um, Phoebe, that that's what was written on, on the entry. So you will know who you are and you will be pleased and delighted. And I will be in touch soon uh, regarding your prize. Um, only other news is, well, on the, on the 1st of February, which is incoming very soon, we have, of course, got um, this coming up. Riff Clowns Sudoku Hunt. The Sudoku Gallery is opening very soon. That's going to be jolly exciting. And uh, yeah, so make sure make sure that you're you're ready for that on the first of February. Um, apart from that, we've got hopefully a crossword video tomorrow morning. Obviously, for those of you who enjoy, enjoy our cryptic crossword content, and I have created a hybrid cryptic crossword, which is today's Times uh, crossword, in which I have highlighted the definitions um because some of you thought oh that might be that might be really good if i know if i know what the definition is then i might be able to just steam through the puzzle well let me tell you having i did solve today's puzzle and i did solve it relatively quickly so i had a good snitch time um, but the puzzle is a brute and I've had a look at the definitions and don't worry, I will share this with you all tomorrow. Um, and I think it's much harder. <laughs> I think it's much harder without without being able to have recourse to the uh, sort of wordplay. But anyway, we'll talk about that more tomorrow. Uh, I've got three birthdays to do today as well. I'm going to start off by wishing, a, wishing, wishing Alicia a very happy birthday. And um, Alicia had a message from past Alicia to future Alicia, which was... I hope you're feeling better and getting the rest you need. Well, we hope that too, Alicia, and many happy returns today. And I hope that you're able to have some chocolate cake and a suitably festive celebration. 
And then next we're going to turn our attention to the birthday of Sarika. I hope I'm saying that right, Sarika. You've turned 52 today. And I know this because your daughter, Cushy, wrote to us and told us that you watch the channel and you might appreciate a shout out. Well, I hope, I hope that's right. And I hope you have a great birthday. Um, and then finally, uh, Tyson. Tyson, you've turned 19 today. Wasn't that? Yeah, that's, um, uh, you're a fresher. Oh, in co at college doing mechanical engineering I'm told by your girlfriend Emily and Tyson many happy returns I hope you have a great day and I hope you have a lot of chocolate cake now that's all the news now we can turn our attention to Arvada and see what Glum Hippo, see if Glum Hippo is going to make us glum or smile. I predict smile. These are the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So we need to put the digits one to nine once each in every row, every column and every three by three box. I get given digits today. Look at that. Uh, the digits in row three slash four of column three add to ten. OK, that's a very peculiar way of writing that rule. Um, so, so this is an X domino. So the digits separated by the X have to contain, sorry, the cells separated by the X have to contain digits summing to 10. That's normally how we write that one. Uh, beach coma rules. Right, this is where it gets interesting. The digit X inside a circle indicates that a total of X digits less than X can be seen in the cells radiating orthogonally from that circle. Digits larger than X block the view. So let's just write a digit in there. Let's write six in there and see if we can understand what on earth that means. So the di so, so let's reread the rules now with X replaced by six. The digit six inside a circle indicates that a total of six digits less than six can be seen in the cells radiating orthogonally, orthogonally from that circle. So an orthogonal radiation, <laughs> let's deal with what we think that might be. Oh, my phone is buzzing at me. Hopefully that's nothing important. No. Um, so an orthogonal radiation, I think, is in the, these, it's sort of in a compass direction. In fact, maybe that's how that should be written. Radiating orthogonally, because sh cells are orthogonally connected if they share an edge. So that's why I don't think it's a diagonal, uh, a diagonal movement. I think we have to look horizontally and vertically from the cell with the circle. Larger digits are going to block the view. So if we put, uh, let's put a nine there, that's blocking the view. And so this six, they'd have to be lower digits than, they'd have to be six lower digits than six in, for example, well, actually, I messed that up, haven't I? Maybe, maybe those squares. So maybe those squares could all be lower than six. And then this square would have to be higher than six. That square would have to be higher than six. And that square would have to be higher than six. So I think that is what it means. If all of these squares are lower than six, what a peculiar rule that is. That's mad. OK. All right. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, this had um, four stars out of five for difficulty on Logic Masters Germany. Uh, so it's obviously not a pushover. OK, and it looks like we're meant to start here. But... I am unsure, frankly, and that, that that example we've just done has somewhat terrified me. All right, let, let's have a think about extreme digits then. Let's go for a nine in here. Now, what does that tell us? That is That is impossible. I can see that straight away, actually, because that's going to see the whole of its row and the whole of its column, because there are no Sudoku digits higher than nine. There is a knowledge bomb from cracking the cryptic for you. So that's going to see, well, that's going to see 16 cells, isn't it? In fact, all, ah, that's interesting. All, all circles see 16 cells, I'm suddenly realizing. 
Ah, maybe this is how you're meant to get at this then. So are you meant to think about it in terms of... Let me just write 8 in there and think about that for a second. Because again, that 8, in theory, if there were no 9s in the puzzle, that would see 16 cells. So the 9s have to be positioned such that that 8 only is only capable of seeing 8 of the maximum of 16 cells that it sees in sort of its row and column. Uh, okay, no, maybe that's maybe that's more complicated than I thought. Um, yeah, but anyway, the, you clearly can't put nine in a circle, so nine must be in one of those two squares in box two. Um, now, so maybe I don't really <laughs> I don't really like the position of those in terms of the eights because um, the well. So the 8 is in one of those five positions. But if the 8 is circled... That's gone well. Okay, that's interesting. If that's an 8, that can't be a 9. I don't think. Because the 9 effectively means the 8 rules the roost over everything in its column. So all of these would be lower than the 8. But the 9 also rules out a 9 from these two squares. And I think that must add up now to 9. Because there must be 7 cells apart from the 8 and the 9 in column 4, plus 2 more. So that can't be... If that's 8, that can't be 9. And that must that logic must flow to that cell as well. So if this is 8, this can't be 9. But how does that work then? If the if the nine is in the other position. Now if it's here two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh no, that's fine. Well, hmm. if it was there, you'd know that was a nine, I think, in order to make the eight work. But it, it's much less okay, it's much less powerful. Um I'm just going to start again and just re-pencil re, re mark in my, my nines in this box. Uh, lo a low digit's a problem, if that's a one. Oh, low digits are impossible. Sorry. Well, not any low digit, but certainly... I'm going to say one and two can't work. It's certainly not in that cell. Oh, but I must put a one or a two in a circle here. Oh, that's okay. So it's going to be two in this box, I think. But let me sh let me show you what I've seen there. If that's a one, that's saying that this cell sees one digit that's lower than one. But there are no Sudoku digits lower than one. So this must be a one nine pair. Sorry, that's totally obvious. But what I've just seen there as well, when I thought about two in this square, is that saying that needs to see... Oh, hang on. I'm wrong. Oh, well, okay. I mean... Hmm. Well, okay. What we can say about two is that it has to be on the border of a 3x3 three three box, can't we? Because the two... The only digit that's lower than two in Sudoku, I feel like I'm saying a lot of things that are totally obvious today. The only digit is one. So the two must see two ones before it sees any other digit. And that can be in any direction. But obviously, if we put a one here, you can't now put a one anywhere else in the column. So it's going to have to see two ones. One one, one would have to be there, and one one would have to be in one of these one of these. One one sounds like one one, doesn't it? <laughs> that's a, that's a, another sort of tangential Harry Potter reference. Um, yeah, so the two is going to have to see two ones, which obviously can't be in the same box. So in fact, that couldn't be a one around this two, because that would prevent either of these from being one. And therefore, these would be higher than one, and the two wouldn't see them. 
Um, but what I hadn't appreciated, well, I suppose that can't be a one um, because of the one line pair. But I mean, I wasn't really thinking about that being two. I was just trying to understand what it meant. So one of these is a two and the two. Uh, right. So the two can't be there. Because that can't, that definitely can't see two ones. Okay, I'm going to claim the two can't be here. Now that might be wrong, but I think it's right. Because this needs to see two ones now. So it could get a one from here, that's fine. But the other one would be there, and that's a circled one. And there are, there are no such things as circled ones in Arvada by Glum Hippo. So the two is not in those squares. So the two is now in one of these squares. Now. Well. Okay, that can't be a two, because again, that's going to plonk a one. If that's a two, you have to put a one here, and you have to put a one there, and that's in a circle again. Golly, this is this is complicated, actually. <laughs> so that can't be a two. So two is either in one of these squares, or it's here. Wow. OK, I'm now going to claim this can't be a 2, and this is for a beautiful reason. If that's a 2, neither of these can be 1s, can they? Because we've got a 1, 9 pair in the box. So the only way this could work is if we put two ones into those two squares, and that doesn't work because they rule both of the positions for 1s out of box 2. Wow. OK. OK, well, this is great, though, because now we've got the 2 down to one of these squares... Well, no, it's not quite great, but it's interesting because now we know that whichever one of these is a 2, there must be a 1 in one of those squares. So, for example, if this is a 2, because that will then have to be a 1 for one of the ones that's going to see this 2, because that if that's a 1, this 2 could only ever see 1, 1, and 1, 1 or 1, 1 won't work. <laughs> so, this is... If that's a 2, that's a 1, and that's a 1, and we'd have a 1 up here. And if that's a 2, this is a 1, and this is a 1, and we'd have a 1 over here. Okay. Um... I'm sorry, I can't quite see if that... I feel like that's probably not doing anything. Um, there might be a way we can disambiguate that, but I don't... I'm not seeing it. So perhaps... Should we try the next digit up? Should we try three? We know three has to be circled. How does three... So let, let's just think about this one again first because it's sort of in the middle and it's... So what are the principles of three? Three is going to require us to see... Hmm. It's going to have to see ones and twos and it has to see exactly three of them is that a problem or not i don't think it is um but let me just mull that over what does that mean in terms of this box so if that's a three that's going to be a 2, that's going to be a 1. The 3 is not going to see these at all. That, that breaks. Oh, ah, right, okay. Ah, all right, here's something interesting which I hadn't thought of until now. Is that definitely right? 
Yes, it is. I think it is. Um, what? Um, uh, what I'm noticing is, I don't think that's going to be able to be a three. Yeah, what I'm noticing is if um, if you put a three here and you surround it with two digits that are higher than three, so let's say you put four and six around the edge of the three, this can't work now. It's impossible because this needs to see, according to the rules, three digits that are lower than three. But once you surround it with two higher digits, it needs those digits just from one direction. And if we're only picking from one direction, even if you pick Harry Styles, you will not get to the right number because you can't, there are not three digits that are lower than three in Sudoku. So that means that when, that's why I don't think this square can be a three, because if that square is a three, that's bounded on its bottom side by a five, it's bounded on the top side by nothing. So it, it, it's sort of vertical component, if you like, the vertical component of how many low digits it picks up in its vertically is zero. And it can never pick up three horizontally because there's only one and two available. So that's definitely not three. Now, that, unfortunately, that doesn't work for that cell, does it? It might work. It might be a problem for different reasons about whether this could be a three. Um, well, yes. In fact, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this trick again. If that's a three, how does it work now? Well, using the principle we've just discovered, which is that this now cannot be higher than three. Otherwise, this can't get to a count of three. This has to be lower than three, but it's in a circle. So it has it can't be a one, so it has to be a two. And now this two needs to see two ones. And it can't because of where it sits in the box. So these the three in this box is in the wings of box two. Um, now, I think there might be a problem. Yeah, that it's the same problem. If we put the three in here, because of the pencil marks we've already done with twos and ones, if you put a three here, because the two and one go over there, this now effectively is bounded on this side by a high digit and we can't pick up enough in the column. So that's never going to work. The same is going to be true here. If you put the three here, the two and the one flip over to the other side and the three is going to be bounded by two high digits. So these are not three. Three, oh no, so three is in one of two places. Now, wherever it lives, Oh, right, hang on, can we? So hang on, what do, can we, can we go back and, and think about that logic as regards the two or not? Not really, uh, no, no, the two is always going to have, if that's a two, that's a one, if that's a two, that's a one. So the two is fine. It get it picks up a vertical component as a result of the settling down of the one nine pairs. Right. So if that's a three, what happens to the world? If that's a three, we have to have a vertical component of lower digitage. That digit cannot be a one. So that would have to be a two. So if this is three, we have to go two. And then we know that results in a one here. But now we need a horizontal component, which can't be that digit, because that digit now cannot be one or two. So that digit would have to be, I want to say a two. Let me just think about that. Let's actually pencil it in. I think it's got to be a two, but let me just think about that again. So if that's three, we know that's two. We know that's one. Yeah, and then this can't be a one. So, so you're going to get that pattern, um, I think if that's a three. Now, if this is a three, oh, well, then it gets more complicated because we've got other positions here that could take, that aren't even in the difficult box. 
we have to have something vertically. And we have to have something horizontally. Now horizontally, that digit is never a one or a two. Right, so if this is a three, that digit is a one or a two for certain. So we can only pick up one horizontal component for this if, if the three is here. So we have to pick up two vertical components. Right. But could they just be there? So if this was two and this was one, This would be a two, this would be a one. Golly, I don't know. This is quite, this is difficult actually. I'm not quite, under, I'm not, well, I was about to say I'm not quite understanding it. I'm not understanding it at all in terms of that, that one or two is wrong, isn't it? Um, not really sure where to look either if I'm honest is it going to be okay we can use the principle that we established about um, not not penning a digit in to say that this digit is a higher digit than five if it's a lower digit than five if it's four again it has no vertical component so it and it would need four lower digits than four in its row that's not possible. So that digit is higher than five and is six, seven, or eight. Um, don't know what that means, I'm afraid. Golly, this is, <laughs> is, this, is this, am I just missing things that are obvious here? I, I might be, I might well be. Um, I don't know, I'm not at all sure where I'm meant to look here. nothing nothing at all can that be eight is that difficult well I don't think it is I'm, I'm that's my first reaction I mean if that was nine one two one two three four five no we don't count the set itself do we so those four would have to be there would be no nines in any of those squares. Oh, yeah, okay, that's almost interesting because, of course, you can't put nine in a circle. But it's, it's not even close to being constrained, to be honest. Um, wherever you put... Yeah, eight is going to be circled in this box, isn't it? And wherever you put the eight, it is going to have neighbours that are effectively fenced in by the eight. Yeah, so if, for example, you did put eight here, then both of these squares will be lower than eight because they can't be nine. And both of them will have to be then greater than the digit that is... Ah! <laughs> that well hmm is that just broken then that's what my brain is telling me i think that's right that's really beautiful and weird yeah okay so if this is eight i am going to claim that because there is a nine in one of those squares 
One of these circles is sandwiched between an 8 and a 9 and has no vertical component, or no horizontal component depending on which way round it goes, and therefore cannot exist. Because it would have to pick up whatever digit it is. I mean, imagine if this was 6 and this was 9. Clearly this has to now pick up 6 from this direction. It can't do it. So that is, that is not 8. Right, so actually, right, so 8 is in one of only 3 positions. Now can I do that again? Where, the problem is I don't think I can. Because the 9 is, the 9s are so awkwardly placed. Um, which one of these three? Well, I've already sort of looked at that one. Should we have a look at this one? Let's have a think about it. I'm not very confident it's going to do anything. But if that's eight, we do know the two and the one go over there. We know that's a one. So we know that's a nine. So again, we've, we've removed. We know this is... Oh, that no, this is this is what doesn't work. I looked at this earlier, where the nine is in this column. If if the, if the nine does go there, th this this eight is already seeing seven, eight, nine, ten. It's seeing loads and loads of trouble. That's that doesn't work. That's great then. Okay, that's got. I've got rid of another digit. So that's not eight. So eight is now vertical, which means there's an eight down here by Sudoku. Look at that. Now, can we somehow <laughs> take this forward again? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm trying to think about it. I'm I don't know. I mean, this is baffling, isn't it? It's absolutely baffling. So, well, I mean, this is the one I've not investigated. I, I'm trying to think about, I mean, I can see it's going to pick up two vertically there. But we don't know which of these would be nine in this in this paradigm. So, I know that this digit is undoubtedly going to be less than 8 and therefore it must be bigger than the digit in this position otherwise it's not going to be able to achieve its goals but one of the options seems to be that that's a 3 and that definitely well, I mean, that's the lowest it could be, and it could still be bigger than that digit, even in that situation. I mean, so I suppose you'd ask the question, where's 9 in this column? And 9 can't be circled, so 9 would be in one of those squares. So if 9 is right at the bottom, we'd pick up 7 vertically. No, six vertically, so we have to knock that one out. We need two more, but we're going to get that one. And we're going to get that one. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, if you do put eight here, you, because you know this is lower than eight axiomatically, it can't be nine, and you know this must be greater than this, so it's got a horizontal component, you also know, so the actually all three of those are definitely seen, aren't they, by that 8 clue. These two are definitely seen by the 8 clue. We then, it depends whether this is 1 or 9 as to whether this is seen. And in this column, this is seen because it can't be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then it depends how low down the nine is if the nine the nine the nine can't be there if this is eight in this column because it would see those three as well but 
but that's uh, that's nowhere near enough is it to actually understand how this works okay um wow <laughs> i don't know what to do then so let me just think What is it that I'm missing here? Maybe I've got to go further afield. I mean, I know that this digit now, my phone is buzzing like crazy. Oh, that's good. Um, but um, that digit can't be one, two or five. So that digit is, oh, it's just not under any pressure at all, is it? I don't understand this rule. I really don't. It's baffling. Okay, let's try. Is seven restricted in this box? Pregnant pause while I try and work out whether it, whether it might be. Again, well, I can see how it, it is in one way. It might not be able to go here if this is nine. Because the eight that's going to get displaced is going to choke it off. It could only see only see six cells if it was there. But that's predicated on that being a nine, which it may well not be. Is there a reason this can't be a one? If this is a one... Does that mean this is a two? I thought that's where that's what we had worked out, isn't it? There's a two in one of these. There's a one in one of these. And because, yeah, the, the two, wherever it is, needs to be adjacent to a one. So what's wrong with this? If we go two, one, one, that's nine. This is definitely complete. Is that breaking something to do with the threes or something? If I know that's one, two, one, do I know something more than I think I do? I've, this is making me feel very stupid. It really is. Um, if that's three then, what are we saying? We're saying, that, no, that can't be three. That can't be three, can it? Because that needs to have a vertical component and that square can't be a one or a two. So in this, in the version where two goes here, this is definitely three. So this is definitely two, which is interesting. That, that is right, isn't it? Because I need to have a horizontal component. That can't be a 1 or a 2. So that has to be a 2. That has to be an 8. Okay, so, all right. So what we could say then, I mean, this is far-fetched, but I'm going to say it. Um, because... When, when we were working out how this three would work, this three worked by having a two here, didn't it? Because it created a, a sort of two on the diagonal of this two by two. So if that's a three, that's a two. And if that's a three, that's a two. So two in this row is never in those squares. And therefore two is never in those squares in row three, because if the two was over here, it would force a two into one of these squares. So two is in one of two places. That's a tiny deduction for us. So two is in one of three places. Two can't be in the corner because that would be, if that's, if that's a two, you'd have to put double one around it. 
So two is in one of those places, two is in one of these places. Which, oh, hang on, we don't know whether that's nine or not. Um, hmm, so what does that mean? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Oh, it's that. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. 40 minutes that's taken me to see something intelligent. Holy moly. I'm not even certain what I'm about to say is right. I think it's right, but I'm not certain it's right. I think if this is a nine, doesn't it create a problem? So these these cannot mutually exist. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is, I've been a bit slow to this, but I'm in my defense, I don't think this is the easiest rule set to get to grips with. But the problem with this is that it creates a paradox between these two cells. What do I mean by that? Well, let, what do we know now about this digit if this is nine? We know that this must be a greater digit than this digit. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? That, I mean, fair play to Glum Hippo. This is beautiful. It has to be greater than this, because if it's not greater than this, this has no vertical component. And if it has no great vertical component, its horizontal component is never enough. But now let's turn our attention to this. If this is hotter, if this is higher than this digit, this has no vertical component axiomatically and it cannot exist because this needs to be bigger than this at the same time. It's that simple. Well, that's simple, but also that is beautiful, simple and has made me feel incredibly daft. I'm so sorry. Right. But that's at least a start. We've got a nine. We've got a one. Right. And doesn't that give us the twos? It does, doesn't it? Because now this can't be two because we can't put double one around it. So that's two. That's one. This is not two. This is not one. And OK, <laughs> so now if this is three. Does that actually break if it's three? This is bigger than it. So this is smaller. So we go three, two. I'd need two vertical components, which couldn't be here. So this would be a one, two pair. No, you rotten puzzle. Um, I can't see why that's wrong. I, that's weird. For some reason in my brain, I'd, I'd linked the threes positioning with the twos positioning in box two. But I'm now less convinced that actually that is that's forced. Um, we know if that's three, that's higher, don't we? Sorry, that's two. Let's create the diagonal there. OK. Um, OK. Well, all right, this this takes me back to something I'd spotted earlier. I think if this is set, well, this is seven. <laughs> this is how much I've lost my marbles. I mean, that given digit is definitely seven. Um, now, I don't think that can be seven, because if that's seven, we know that's eight now by our pencil marking. So the vertical component here is one cell. But and we can't pick up enough horizontally because the nine frames this and we can only pick up those four maximum. That's assuming none of those is an eight. So that this square is an even digit and is six or eight. And seven in this box is now locked into one of two places. And if that's seven, 
We can just do it, I think. But it's only just. It's really close. If that's 7, the 8 obviously stops it. So we have a maximum of 3 vertically. So we need 4 horizontally. And we can only get 4. And only if that's not an 8. So this would be an 8. I don't know. Is there a reason this can't be 7? Uh, <laughs> there might be. Don't know what that reason is. Um, I, don't, I just don't know. No. I, I, well, if there is a reason, I'm not seeing it. Bother. Okay. So... So has this has this taken us forward at all? The answer to that is I'm not sure. Do we know? I suppose if the seven is there, actually, we do. Oh, no. Ah, I've got it. I didn't realize this. Sorry, the eight's down here in this column. Aha, got something got something with with without it taking me half an hour right if that's seven uh, the eight is really far far down this column so even if the eight is there the vertical component of this oh no it might be okay it might be okay sorry all right well maybe it's not such an easy point then It, it was, it's incredibly constraining if this is 7. Because this has to be 8 to prevent us getting too many. Because we're definitely going to get those three, aren't we, in the row. That's for sure. We might get more over here, but we're definitely getting those. And we're definitely going to get those. So that gets us to 7. Straight away. So this would have to be an 8 or a 9. This would have to be an 8 or a 9. And there's probably a million reasons why that's impossible, but I don't know what those reasons are. So either way the seven goes, it's very powerful. And I'm just, I, I know I'm, I'm being very slow here, but I just want to think about this a little bit. Because... It, well, as, as I think I've already discovered, it would be very easy to overlook that there may be a reason this, this is totally and utterly not going to work. And I just, if I see it, then, then, then we're going to be away again. Hmm. But <laughs> there may be a reason, but I don't know what that reason is. Um, no, okay, I can't, I can't see that, so let's get rid of that. Maybe we've got to think about this one again. Let's have a think about that one again. So if this is 7, I know that that's very forced because it has to see those squares. Now, is there a reason it wouldn't? Well, this would obviously have to be 6 in that iteration, so this would be an 8. Oh, the six would be framed. It's that, it's that simple again. I keep missing this point, but it's so, it's so important. Yeah, if, if you do this, because you need this digit in, that has to be lower than this one. But if that's six, it's framed by the seven and the nine. It needs six digits vertically that are lower than it, and there aren't six digits lower. So that is the seven. Okay, that's great. Well, when I say great, it's moderately great. But it definitely sees these. It definitely sees these. So this has to be 8 to stop it, which gets me a digit. These have to be an 8-9 pair, which means the rest of this row is 3, 4, and 6. 3, 4, and 6. Um, 
this has to have a horizontal component. So this can't be three, because if it was three, this would be higher. We'd have to get three lower digits from the column just to keep making that point. So again, that can't be six then, because it would force this to be higher. Um, okay, so maybe the other thing Well, we know that square is definitely now lower. Um, whoops, ah, I didn't want to do that. We know that this run of digits are all lower than this digit. Well, that's just obvious. We also know that whatever this is, it's got to be greater than this digit, don't we? Because if this was great, if this one, if row four, column four was greater than this, this would only have horizontal components again. So whatever this digit is, maybe we, we just label it up. In fact, the, let's label up the rest of box two. We've got to place three, four, five. No, not five, we've got five already. Three, four, six, or eight. But we know that's not eight. We know that's not eight. We know that's not three. And okay, so we, if if this was well, this digit therefore is one, two, three, four, or five. That is terrible. That's such a terrible pencil mark, but it's true, as it has to be lower than this digit. Okay. If that's three, this is definitely higher. So this is definitely lower and we know it's two. If that's six. Oh, I can't now, I still can't. I'm still not getting anything really. I still feel completely and utterly inept at this. Um, Come on, Simon. Right, there's a one over there. <laughs> he says somewhat desperately. And... I don't know. I'm not sure. Is there a problem with this being eight now? It would see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would have to see this digit and that would have to be a nine to stop it then seeing too many down here. Is there a problem with that? Doesn't look like there is, does it? It seems like that's very flexible. Is there a problem with that being an eight? That's an eight. This is then a six, isn't it? Actually, I'm just gonna have a quick look at that. I'm going to get rid of my green. Let's play that same game with this digit. So if this is eight, is there a reason that there's a big problem here or not? I don't think there's going to be. That's going to be six. So it's going to see these two. Nine can't go here. We've done this already, haven't we? I've already looked at this. We know that's going to have to have a digit here that's lower than it. So we, yeah, I remember we did this. We did, we've done this shading already. It sees that one. That's, so it's already actually up to a count of seven now. Maybe we didn't get as high as seven last time. Oh, but hang on. We do have to be a bit careful with this now. So what I'm thinking now... Oh, ooh! Here's another point. This is big. I don't think this can be eight now. And there may be a million of e million easier ways to see this than the way I've just seen it. But l let me explain. If this is eight, I've got to put a nine into this row. And the nine can't be... If, if the nine is here, this eight seeing seven digits in the row. And it's already seeing three vertically. So the nine is not there. So the nine is over here somewhere, which means this is seen. And now 
we are quarate, aren't we? We've seen our eight digits around this. And that means this square has to be a nine. But this square cannot be a nine, because if this square is a nine, this does not have any vertical component. It is, it is sandwiched by two massive digits. So whatever digit we put in here, it cannot work. So if that can't be nine, that's seen. And now I've broken the world. So that's great. Well, when I say great, it's moderately. We've moderately improved our lot in life because now we have learned this is eight. And now, well, we know. What do we know as a result of that? <laughs> is it something very, we know. We know all of these are seen. That must be true because nine has gone in the row. So we see exactly four, which means we must see exactly four here, which does place the nine, which is what we were talking about before. We have to put a nine down here. These all get seen. This, this now has to be greater than the digit on its right because it's sandwiched in by this one. So this square is two, three, four, or five. It's just it's just not enough is it um, and therefore these are all I mean what's this really doing for me though I just don't know I just don't think it's doing nearly enough Oh, seven is in one of those two squares, but presumably if you put seven in the corner, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Oh, oh, I see. You do put seven in the corner. OK, if we don't put seven in the corner, this is a seven and this will be lower than seven. The corner will be lower than seven and have no horizontal component. So we know that that's wrong now. Slowly, this is seeping into my brain. So that's seven in the corner. The seven was going to see three. This is beautiful, actually. So that's going to see three horizontal until it hits the eight, because obviously nine's been hypothecated in the row already. So it must see four vertical. So it must see those. And then that digit, which can't be a nine, has to be an eight. Good grief. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So now there's an eight over there. Can that be an eight? Oh, it can. Eight, two would work on the X. Bother. Um, nine in this row has to be at the bottom can't interrupt the green flow so no, it doesn't do it doesn't do it doesn't do it doesn't do it right okay can we no i'm not i'm not sure we can i don't think we can particularly extract more information now we know that we know this is higher than this, don't we? Maybe actually I'm going to put something in to remind me of that. Because they, they do have an important relationship, don't they? Now, can we find any more of those? Hmm. I don't know. I'm looking at these two, just trying to work out whether there's something. I mean, I know, I know that digit is higher than that digit. That's certainly true. It depends what this one is as to whether it has any profile like that. I mean, this digit can't be big, can it? If this was seven, this would be. Oh no, it would only be locked in if it's not six. If it's six. It's bigger than the five, so that's fine. Um, if it's four, if it's four, what does that mean? It needs to have, it, this would need to be a three or a, no, oh, it can't be a two in this square. So if this is four, oh yeah, okay, let, let's just mark this square up actually. No, because we, we can't, we can't. No, I, I can't. Oh, oh, Simon, grow a brain, will you? 
Um, we're almost at the point where Sudoku might save us. <laughs> it's not. It's not often I look for that. I look for that as a savior. Um, okay, come on. No, 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 no. All of the thoughts I'm just having were such absolute and utter nonsense. I cannot tell you. That digit has to be greater than that digit. <laughs> um, so it means it can't be a one. <laughs> <laughs> I am not pencil marking that. Um, my my spider sense is telling me these two are somehow linked together, and, I, and there's something I know about these two, but I don't know. I can't I can't think what it is. If that's three. This has to be, this will be higher than it. So this has to be seen by the three. So this would have to be a two. This would have to be an eight. This, we need to see two more cells. So this would have to be a one, two pair, if this is three. What's wrong with that? They would have some ones and twos down there. If this is not three, this is three, but this would be a four, six pair then. So one of these would be greater than the other. This would always need to see a vertical component. That's what we've got with the hot and the cold digits already labelled in. This is a 4-6 pair. Is there something else that we could say that would be useful? The other thing I probably do have to be a bit careful of is to keep track of... Yeah, how could that be a six, actually? Oh, goodness, is it that simple? It can't be six. It can't see six. It can only see a maximum of two horizontally. If, it, if it, Well, yeah, I mean, what, what's the most this can see? It's never bigger than seven, eight, or nine, is it? So it sees two and it sees three. That's five. That cannot be six. Golly, golly, gosh. So this, and this digit is lower. So this digit now is not four and it's not five. So that's just two or three, please. Please, that's not enough. And I can see the God of history saying that is not enough. For I was hungry and he fed me not. Ah! All right, so six is in one of these. Is there a reason that one of these can't be a six? Maybe. Um, uh, ma, ma, ma. If that's a six, what's that doing? If that's a six, we're going to pick up. If that's a six. We're picking up three here, definitely. We're picking up some here, definitely. But that could be eight or nine, I think and stop me seeing any more. So I need to see, I might need to see that one then. Oh, what about, okay, let's have a think about whether that can be six. Is there some peculiar reason that prevents that? If that's a six, we know, what do we know? We know it's seeing all sorts of digits immediately. Um, this would be a three or a four. We would have to see this digit, wouldn't it? So the six is going to see one, two, three, four. Straight away. I don't know whether this can be a seven. Possibly. don't know whether that can be an eight or a nine. I can't, again, I'm just not, 
I'm not in tune with this puzzle at all. I, I'm, I'm aware I'm probably infuriating some of you. I'm, I'm not trying to be um, obtuse or difficult. I really am trying to understand how to think about this. I, and if I can get through it, I'm going to be fascinated to read the comments on whether this is whether this is easy or whether it, this is one of those puzzles which just doesn't, you know, my brain just can't quite see its way into. I hope you'll all tell me no, it's quite hard. Um, 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 so that's three or four. If it's three, what do we know? We know that's two. And then we're done. If it's four, what do we need to do then? We need to see we need to see if it's four, that's six, that's three. But if it's four, that could be three, couldn't it? So we could see more than one horizontally. Uh, or we could see one nor there. So I don't think there's a problem with that being four. Um, Okay, so <laughs> what? I mean, I got that seven. I was so proud of that seven. It's done very little for me. There's an eight or a nine. In, oh, that's sort of interesting. There is an eight or a nine in one of those two squares by Sudoku because I've got an eight, nine and an eight, nine there. So eight, nine, obviously this is an eight or a nine. There must be another one in one of those two squares. So is there a reason this can't be an eight, nine for some, something to do with one of these? We know one of those is a six, don't we? And that is, wherever this eight, nine is, it's going to stop this six from seeing further than it. Yeah, there's also an eight or a nine in one of those squares actually. So these squares are from 2, 8 and 9 only. That's a 2, 8, 9 triple. Oh, I thought for a moment I got the Sudoku trick, but I don't think I do. <laughs> oh, that's rotten. Um, 2, 8, 9 triple. So, if that is eight or nine it is penning this one in so this would then have to be greater than this one as well so this would have to be not six so this would be four this would be six we'd probably have to see most of those we'd probably have to see all of those and the eight nine would be there but that might be okay it might be okay Oh. oh, goodness me, it's this one, isn't it? It's this one. Oh, my goodness. So now I've got to not look at this box anymore. I've got to look at this one, which is not where my brain was at at all. How could this, how could this be an eight or a nine? If this is an eight or a nine, whatever this is, it can only see three. And the three is not equal to four or six. So that's not eight or nine. That's got to be the two. Good grief. Okay, so that's not eight now. This is not two. This is a one or a two. This now, this is going to be interesting, definitely. Because, well, hmm. <laughs> actually, I'm not still, hang on. Do I still have a problem now if this is eight? How many could this see? It could see one, two, three only. I don't think that can be eight. I don't think so. I think that's got to be eight. So now eight is coming down towards the bottom of column one. This does need to see this square. But also, I think there's a problem here, isn't there now? Yeah, well, there's not a problem. There's something good, which is that this digit is framed on its left side. So it cannot also be framed on its right side. So that's got to be cooler than this digit. 
which means it can't be the six. That's got to be the four. So that's the four. That's therefore six. That becomes three, which we know is greater than that digit, which is now two. That's another tiny little advance in our quest, our quest against the hippo. <laughs> Hippo quest. <laughs> oh, um, now what does that mean then? So this six, or oh, that four, the four. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, one thing we said before was there's a floating 8, 9 over here. If that's here, how does that 4 get core 8? Because it's penned in on those sides, so it's got to pick up its 4 from just those three squares. That doesn't work. Right, so that's an 8 or a 9. This is an 8, 9 pair now. I've got a 3, 5 pair in the row, so that's not 3. I've got a 4, 6 pair in this row, so that's now 3. And, and still, I've got the same problem, which is that if this is 5, it's the same as if it's 8 or 9. It breaks this, doesn't it? So that's got to be 3. That's got to be 5. And now this needs to see, this 4 needs to see these two squares, which means these two squares have got to be selected from lower digits. But then we can't put 1 or 2 in there. So that has to be a 3. That's circled as well, actually, so we need to think about that, because that's going to have to do something from this perspective. It needs to see... Um, it needs to see two digits that are lower than three, and it can't see any digits that are lower than three here, because there's a one-two pair. So it sees these two digits. These have got to be a one-two pair. And that gives me a one, two pair in this box, a one, two pair in this row. That's a four, six up there. Now, so this, right. Okay, so this six clue now, we're seeing these three, so we must see three vertically. So these two digits have to be four, five pair. Because they can't be 1, 2 or 3, but they have to be lower than 6. Good grief. So now these two squares are a 6, 7 pair. Please, please let me manage to go a bit further now. I'm now feeling more like hopeful that I might finish the puzzle one day. Um, how long have I had? An hour and, hour and 12 minutes. I know there's going to be that chap. Uh, his name begins with G in the comments and you know I take an hour and five minutes over a puzzle and he says yes I did it in four minutes 17 or something I wonder what that's going to be today um four five nine this is down here oops we need to put those in the middle four five and nine um these squares are oh these are one two and three but we know something about well we can't put one in there can that really be two that would be one that would be one no that doesn't feel, that's going to break that, isn't it? Let me just, I'm going to think about that. Hang on. If this is three, if, no, sorry, if this is two, it needs to see two ones. That cannot be a one. So the, it must see those. If that's double one, that's broken. Right, so that is three. And then, well, then what? We know that can't be a one or a two of where it's positioned in the box it can it could never be one but it can't be two in that position so we need this this is going to be higher so we need this to see two this way so this is a one two pair i've now got an i've now got a one two pair there okay well that was that was quite exciting we made a little bit more progress again Do I know? No, is <laughs> I have answered my own question. I know this has to be lower. This definitely has to be. This has to be a four or five. 
And the way I'm getting that is I'm saying that there's no way that this, this cell here doesn't see this, this digit, even if it sees that one, which it might not. I think this could be a six. Um, but it, it can see three maximum. Three is not as much as four or six. So it must see this one. And this one has to be lower than whatever this is to be seen. And it can't be one, two or three. So I think that is four or five. And now it's four or five. How could that be four? It wouldn't work. So that's got to be six, which means that's four, that's six. Now the top three cells, one, five and something. One, four, five up here. That's not one by our old friend Sudoku. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's just <laughs> this is vicious if this is right. <laughs> it is right. Right. Glum hippo, you meanie. You absolute meanie. That's a naked single. One, two, three, four, five. It could be six, and I think it is going to be six, because it can't be seven, eight, or nine. Okay, that is a naked single. So that fills in a few digits. Not very many, admittedly, but a few. So we still need four, five, and nine. Ah, so that's got to be four or five, which because of the nine there. So that gives me a nine here. I said, oh, which would probably, there was another way of getting that, looking at, looking at what I've just managed to put in there. Right, what does this mean? Don't know. One, two, three, and nine into these squares. Oh, there's another naked single in column nine because that square sees one, two, three in the row and sees everything else in the column apart from, you've guessed it, nine. Right. So that's not nine. This is a one, two, three triple. Yeah, okay. So where do one, two, and three go in box six? The answer is I don't know exactly, but they're in that triple. So these squares are 4, 5, and 7 by Sudoku. That's giving me a 1, 2, 3 triple in row 5. Which feels like it might be important, but I can't really see how to use it. This 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4... One, two, three, four. So it's got to see these two. Oh, that, that place is the nine, of course. Right, okay. Okay, so the and these squares have to be definitely... I'm just double-checking it. I think these have to both be lower than six. So these are from one, two, three, four, and five, and they're not two. And that one is not one or three because of this one, two, three triple. So this is a four, five pair. That puts one in the corner of the grid. It's all, it's all, it's, it's become Sudoku now. That's a three by Sudoku. Um, all right, so what are these digits down here? Seven, eight, and nine. That's not eight. That six is now finished. Um, I probably actually ought to find some way of it. Uh, let's purplify it to indicate it's done. This one, is there any controversy over? No, that's done. That's done. That's done. I think this is done because I remember putting the nine in. So that's done. That three is done. Let's get rid of the orange. That's definitely done. That seven is definitely done. I can't I can't get that wrong now. That two is done. That four is done. Uh, the six. That's done as well. Okay, so at least we seem to be... That's done. Um, we seem to be in relatively okay shape so far as um, the circles that we've focused on. Right, so let's have a look. Can we pencil mark some things into this box? Two, three. That digit is six or seven, is it? By Sudoku, I think so. Two, six, one, two, six, seven. Oh, six is that? So six, in fact, just because of that six. Um, six is in one of two places in box seven. So what are these squares? These are one, two. Oh, these are one, two, and seven. I can put seven in the box. Oh, 
Uh, this is a one or a two. That's not seven anymore, so that seems to have to be seven. So seven is in one of those three squares. One of these three squares, one of these three squares. And in fact, if you look at that, we've actually got a sort of quintuple in box seven. So those digits are from three, four, five and six, I think. Three, four, five, six. These can't be six. These can't be three. Now, is it really possible? It might be. Yeah, oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay. I thought this one would be some in some way restricted now, but it appears not. Okay, all right, so we have to look somewhere else. What about these digits then? These digits from 1, 2, 6 and 9. 1, 2, 6. Oh, hang on. What am I, why did I say 9 when 9's in there? What, 1, 2, 6 and 7, actually. Uh, well, that can't be a 1 or a 2. So, that, oh, 6 or 7 into this circle. That might be helpful. How do we do that? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. It depends where the 8 goes there as to whether or not that would work. If that's 7, it would, we'd definitely see 2, we'd definitely see 5. So we could only see exactly 2 more. So we, And we would see that. So we would have to see this. And then we would have to not see anything else, which means this square, which can't be eight or nine, would have to be a... Oh, hang on, but if that's seven... Oh, hang on, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> I think that doesn't work. Let's just have a look at that slowly, slowly again. If that's seven, it is indubitably true that we see those two, because they cannot be bigger than seven now. It's undoubtedly true that we see those cells, because... And then we'll then we'll get kiboshed by this one. So we've seen five definitely. So I must see two more definitely. And then this square needs to be higher than seven to stop my sight from going any further. But it cannot be eight or nine. That doesn't work. So this square is that one there is six actually, and that's probably going to be interesting. He says. Although maybe maybe not. Look at that. It's not really not really. Well, I know it sees that we see those three, but then with the seven. Oh, we yeah. We need to. We need this not to be the seven now, or we've got the problem of seeing six lower digits in the row. That's great. So that places the seven there. That gets me a nine. That gets me down to a seven eight pair at the bottom of that column. Now what's that nine doing? That's placing nine in box thingy thingy. That's given me uh, another one, two pair here. So we've got one, two pairs everywhere. Ah, oh, that's given me a three over here. A one, two pair here, that gives me a three here. And okay, we know we're seeing that one, don't we? So we're, and we're seeing that one. So we're now at to five. We must see this one. So that can't be the eight. This is lovely. This is, I mean, it's a fabulously clever puzzle. It is just, it's just, it's made me feel very, very daft. Okay, so that's got to be a four or five pair. So this square has to be higher than six and it can't be eight or nine. So that is the seven, which does disambiguates this over on the other side. This is, so this one is going to have to do all of the final disambiguation, is it? Which, oh no, that one as well. So we've got two, oh, so that could still be a three, actually. It would work. It would see. It would see as far as it needed to. Um, we've got a four or five pair here. So this has become a six, which means that's become a six. So that's, ah, well, 
What does that mean? Actually, nothing, probably. Whatever this... Let's, let's get rid of the green now. Um, whatever this is, it's seeing those two, isn't it? Definitely. And it's seeing that one. Definitely. And it's definitely not seeing that. And it's definitely not seeing that. So it's one, two, three, possibly four. But it's never five. It can't see five. And it's never three. So it is four. And that means this is seen. So that's a three. And that, look, doesn't... Oh, well, no, the four does things. Okay, so the four gets me a five. Five and a four up there. Four and a five here. Four here. Five here. Four here. Aha. Five, four. Four, five. What have we not put in this row? Five, probably. Five. Okay, so that digit... Oh, that... That digit's a one or a two. <laughs> and that, oh, that's lovely. What a finish. That's lovely because that being a one or a two and it's circled means that we know it's nature. And that should, oh, oh, I see. This is what the X is for. Aha. I understand. I finally, at the very last minute, I get to disambiguate um, what's going on at the top of the grid. Wow. Um, wow. Wow. That is a brilliant puzzle. God, thank goodness for that. That's taken me ages. 30 people have solved it in 90 days, basically. Well, okay, that does suggest it is challenging. Um, like the puzzle, yes, I did. I did, but it's, it's a very different animal to the puzzles we've done over the last two or three days, in my opinion. Now, that's going to be interesting because we may well um, get lots of comments saying, I don't know, Simon, you missed... There must be there might be some way of thinking about this that's a lot you know it allows you to create rules that you can use with a bit more fluency than i did but my my experience of the puzzle was a it's very very clever it's a it's a it's, it's a weird rule set that yeah it's very clever and it's very hard at least it was very hard for me to understand where to look and whereas the puzzles in the last two or three days I've sort of I've sort of cottoned on to quite quickly um, and been able to solve relatively smoothly this one not so much at all that has given me the devil's own job to get through it hour and a half wow wow okay well well we're going to add this Add this to the number of... I've got so many amazing puzzles I'm meant to be doing um, over the next few days and weeks. There's there's a puzzle by Jesper everyone wants to see. Um, there's a puzzle by Thoughtbite, I want to say, that everybody wants to see. Um, but all of these are sort of five stars out of five monster puzzles. And this one was only four stars out of five for difficulty, but I couldn't do it at all. Um, let me know in the comments whether this was this was just a poor show by me or whether this is actually quite difficult and i will be very i would be very pleased if you if you all if you all have at least a similar experience and tell me that this is quite challenging it's very clever glum hippo but my goodness me did i struggle with it look forward to the comments especially if they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic